This reporter is Southwest Florida luckiest reporter because today I get to interview Miss Florida 2008. Come with me. Hi, Sierra. How Hello. are you? Great. How are you? Can we talk for a few minutes? Sure. Come on in. Thank you. Do I point out to anything like my walk home Well, if you would like, you can tell me about them and who gave them to you. And These this are your family? Some girls in my church, and there, was, there were actually a bunch of signs out in front of my house when I got home, and balloons, so that was really sweet. <laughs> oh, here they are. How long have you lived here? I lived here for four years. Four years? Mm-hmm. And you're all, you are how old now? Twenty. Twenty years. Well, I've, I mean, I've lived in Fort Myers my whole life, but I lived in this house for four years. <laughs> Those are some of the signs that you yeah. came home to. Ta-da! Who are you named after? Did anybody in particular? Or is it... uh, well, both of my parents just loved the name Sierra, and my dad used to do a lot of rock climbing back in his youth, so they kind of named me after the Sierra Nevada mountains. What went through your mind when you heard your name being called as the winner of Miss Florida? Um, I think I was just kind of in shock, realizing that, you know, not only did I just become Miss Florida, but I'm going to the Miss America pageant. And I think that's the most, uh, just like watching it on TV in January. And now, like, I am going to be on TV. <laughs> That's the biggest shock to me, I think. Um, and just realizing that, that I was actually able to accomplish something that I've worked so hard for was really amazing. Growing up, do you always dream of accomplishing this? No. I, I had always heard of Miss America, but I, I, that was like a far off dream, I guess you could say. I mean, I, I never thought that I would compete in beauty pageants, and not because of anything negative, but just because I didn't think that I had what it takes. I didn't think that I was pretty enough. I didn't think that I had the talent or whatever. But, you know, as I started growing up and really becoming who I am, you know, becoming my own person, I, you know, finding out through my television production class at school that it was something that any girl could do. And so that's when I entered, and since I kind of, I guess you could say I kind of caught the bug, you know, the Miss America bug, that I've just really fallen in love with this organization, and, you know, it's now, it's been about a three-year dream, <laughs> three years old, <laughs> since uh, I've really wanted to, you know, pursue the chance of becoming Miss America. You said you didn't think you were pretty enough. Growing up, were you at? Yeah, well, it's funny because I guess I was more of a tomboy when I was in elementary school, just wanted to be comfortable. My mom always said, you know, I tried to put you in cute outfits, but you just wanted to be comfortable. And then once I hit middle school, I started getting into fashion because, you know, you see all the other girls and you start being more, getting more aware of what's going on in your culture. And that's when I was like, oh, I got to wear this, I got to wear that. So, but up until then, I was pretty much a tomboy. <laughs> what's in your iPod? A lot. No, I really like Rascal Flats, the country group. They're probably, them and Keith Urban would be two of my favorites. But I, I'm, I'm pretty, I like a lot of different genres of music, so. It's hard to choose just one. I understand you're a dancer. What kind of styles do you know? Well, I'm educated in pretty much all styles of dance, but my piece that I compete with is musical theater style. So it's not your typical jazz or your typical ballet. It's a combination of like what uh, stuff you would see on Broadway. What's the last movie you watched? Um, oh, Kung Fu Panda. Actually, I took my little, the Miss Florida 
pageant has a mentoring program called the Sunshine Princess Program. And each contestant is encouraged to have one to six girls aged five to 12 that they mentor throughout their year as a title holder. And I have three young girls, they're, all, they're nine years old, and I was over in West Palm and I took them to see Kung Fu Panda. Mm -hmm. so I think that was the last movie I did. Did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Let's say, you know, I'm, I'm a 15 year old girl who have some uh, tomboy and myself. I watch you on TV. I'm from Florida. I want to be Miss Florida one day. <laughs> what should I start doing? Mm -hmm. Well, First of all, look into the organization and find out more about what the Miss America organization stands for. That's what I did, and that's when I realized, okay, they're promoting scholastic achievement, which is something, you know, I've always been a good student and cared about my grades. They're promoting creative accomplishment. I'm a dancer, and I love being on stage, expressing myself in that creative way. Um, healthy living. I'm a healthy person. I like to, you know, work out or just, you know, I care about my health. And um, community involvement. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Um, you know, I've always been involved in my community, doing community service projects. So I think, you know, it doesn't matter if she's a tomboy or not. There are plenty of girls in the pageant, you know, in the Miss Florida pageant that are athletes, that, are, that they're like, oh, my gosh, you know, a pageant is so foreign to me. But it's not... But the thing is, it's not about all of that, the, you know, the makeup, the hair, the everything. Of course, that comes along with it, but it's about the kind of person that you are. And I would say if that girl feels like she has those characteristics and those are important to her, then she could pursue it and be successful. So, what's next? Well, I'm going to go to Miami for a little bit and work on paperwork for Miss America, because that's where the president of the Miss Florida pageant lives. So I'll be staying with her for a few days, and I'll be getting new headshots as Miss Florida. And in September, I'll be going out to Los Angeles to film the reality show for TLC's Miss America Reality Check. Reporting for NewsDeskPress.com, I am Jesse Vega.